This is the Logitech K380 keyboard, and in this video, I'm gonna tell you why this is my favorite wireless keyboard for the Mac Mini M1. How's it going everybody? It's Ben Aqua and I really, really love this keyboard. The Logitech K380 is only $40 on Amazon and I'll leave a link to that in the description below. And there's a lot of things I really, really like about this keyboard, a few things that are so, so, so let's get into it. First of all, I love the design of this keyboard. It has a pretty small form factor. I can hold it easily in one hand if I need to transport it. It's built super well for a $40 keyboard and it has a pretty good amount of weight to it where on my desk it doesn't slide around almost at all. On the back, there are these little rubber things. This is a wireless only keyboard that uses AAA batteries. These batteries are supposed to last two years. Obviously, since I only had it for about a month, I don't know if the batteries will last two years, but I will tell you that I have a slightly older model of the K380 from, I don't know, maybe four or five years ago. I've never even changed the batteries on that K380. It kind of sucks that there is no internal battery here, but it's also pretty cool because you can exchange the batteries really easily on this machine. The keys on this keyboard, as you can see, have a circular design to them. And at first I didn't think that'd be cool, but I actually have grown to really, really like the circle keys on this keyboard. When you press on them, they have a little bit of the springiness to them, which I really, really like. And my favorite thing about these keys is they are super quiet. It almost feels like you're typing on little like jello pads or something like that. Like it just feels really springy and pleasant to use. This particular layout is awesome for Apple computers too. Like it has a command button, option, control, you know, a very familiar layout if you're used to the Magic Keyboard from Apple. And the size of this is actually pretty similar to the Magic Keyboard. And one of the best parts about the K380 is you can use it on three different devices. So there's these three buttons up here. So I have my first one set to the Mac Mini M1, and then device number two is my iPad Pro. And then you can use the third button for your phone or another iPad or whatever you have. There's also brightness control keys, which is really, really handy, especially on the iPad. The Mac Mini M1 does not allow monitor control yet. When you press on the brightness keys on these, it doesn't do anything, but maybe there will be a fix in the near future. Hopefully there will be. I'm also obsessed with music and playing videos and stuff, and it has media controls on here, including play, pause, rewind, fast forward. It also has volume controls, which are really, really useful. And the layout of this keyboard just makes a lot of sense to me. Like I said, since the keys are circular, it does take a little bit of time to get used to the feel and kind of the closeness of some of the keys. But after using this keyboard for over a month with my my Mac Mini M1. This is the keyboard that I use as my daily driver now and I am really, really satisfied with it. I really, really like that the keys are a little bit closer to each other so it just makes typing a little faster and more efficient for me. I also really like the color scheme of this keyboard, how it's all white except for those three gray keys. Almost everything on my desk is white or a shade of gray or something and this design just fits perfectly with kind of the pseudo minimal aesthetic that I have on my desk. So if you're looking for a tiny, pretty minimalistic keyboard. I think the K380 is one of the cheapest and best options you can get.
The K380 doesn't really have that many cons, but really one of the only things I can think about is there is no backlighting on this keyboard. What you see is what you get. So you will have to get some type of lighting for your desk or just something to give it a little bit of illumination. Even the caps lock key does not have any light behind it. But if you have the Logitech Options app, you can actually enable a caps lock toggle, which will give you a display that the caps lock is on or off on your actual monitor when you press caps lock. But it would be really nice if there was just a tiny LED just to tell you, yes, the caps lock is on or off. I wish this keyboard had some way of being a wired keyboard as well, because this keyboard is wireless only. There's no USB ports on here whatsoever. It's completely wireless, which is really handy and it works really well wirelessly, even with the Mac mini M1. I haven't really experienced a lot of dropouts, but there have been a few times on my Mac mini M1 where I will be typing something and then all of a sudden there's no keys being typed on the screen and they'll just be like five to ten seconds of I'm just waiting there and nothing's happening and then all of a sudden the letters will show up on the screen. Once in a while I'll get a tiny bit of squeakiness on the space bar and it happens very very rarely but sometimes when I'll be editing video or something and I'm pressing the space bar a lot in Final Cut Pro I'll hear a little bit of this tiny squeaky noise which is a little bit annoying but for the most part the space bar works totally fine. I almost never hear the squeakiness at all. And the only other con I can think of is the delete key works fine when you're backspacing, but if you want to do a proper Apple delete where you have a cursor and you want to delete keys that are in front of the cursor. This keyboard is capable of doing those types of deletes, but you have to press Control and D. You can't press function and delete to do a delete. On the keyboard, it says delete, but this should really say backspace because function delete does not actually delete keys. It doesn't do anything. But besides those minor cons, I really, really enjoy the experience of the Logitech K380 keyboard. And I think it's personally the best keyboard for my Mac mini M1. Let me know in the comments which keyboard you use. Have you used the K380 or do you use a different keyboard with your setup? If this video was helpful for you, you know what to do with that like button. And thank you to everybody that's been subscribing. I'll be doing more videos talking about my desk setup with the Mac Mini M1. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.